How to get rid of external hemorrhoids in 48 hours. Everyone knows that hemorrhoids are a real pain in the butt. The question is what you can do about them. Since they are so painful, you probably would like to know how to get rid of them really quickly. We will talk about how you can quickly rid yourself of them and also give some advice on how to prevent them from occurring in the first place. What are hemorrhoids? Hemorrhoids occur when the veins at the bottom of your rectum and anus inflame. It can happen that the veins expand so that they become irritated. This can especially hurt when you relieve yourself. Hemorrhoids can result in bleeding. They are not such a serious condition and will typically go away quickly. There is a difference between internal and external hemorrhoids. Internal ones are deep inside the rectum. You probably won't even feel that they are there. However, they may bleed. External hemorrhoids are located beneath the skin in the area of the anus. You have more nerves there, so you will likely feel pain from them. They can also bleed. Hemorrhoids can get so big that they expand outside the anal sphincter. You might be able to see them then. They will likely be painful when you relieve yourself. Check the price of Hem Relief 911 for hemorrhoids on Amazon. Expanded hemorrhoids will typically return inside by themselves. You can also move them back into place. Blood clots can occur in external hemorrhoids. This will change its color to purple or blue. This is known as thrombosis. This is a painful and itchy condition. What causes hemorrhoids? WebMD says that hemorrhoids run in families. A buildup of pressure in your lower rectum can alter blood flow and cause the veins there to swell. This can occur from obesity or pregnancy. It can also happen if you push hard during a bowel movement. Straining by lifting something heavy may also be a cause. If you stand or sit for long periods of time, then this puts you at risk for them. Prolonged constipation or diarrhea can cause them. Coughing and sneezing can exacerbate them. Preventing hemorrhoids is easy. Here are some simple strategies to prevent the problem. 1. Consume a lot of fiber. Hemorrhoids are more likely to happen to you if you do not relieve yourself often. You can increase your regularity by consuming more fiber or by taking supplements. It may increase the gas in your system, but it is still worth it. You should try to take in 25 to 30 grams of fiber per day. Foods that are rich in fiber include Legumes whole grains vegetables fruits You should be aware of the foods that cause hemorrhoids to flare up. 2. Drink a lot of water. To have healthy bowel movements, it is necessary to keep adequately hydrated. For one thing, drinking water can prevent constipation. Constipation makes you strain during bowel movements. You should aim to drink 6 to 8 glasses of water per day. It is not only good for bowel movements. It will benefit your whole system. 3. Get a lot of exercises. According to Everyday Health, exercise will help keep the colon more regular. You should be careful though. If you do exercises that strain your body, then this can cause hemorrhoids. Exercises that are beneficial include yoga, swimming, and walking. 4. Be careful about laxatives. There are different types of laxatives. Those that work by stimulating or simulating normal physiological activities should be avoided. These can cause pressure, leading to hemorrhoids. You should use osmotic laxatives that work by increasing the quantity of water in the gut. 5. Don't fight the urge to go. When you need to relieve yourself, you should do so. If you wait a while, this might cause some straining when you actually sit down to go. 6. Avoid straining. You should be careful to avoid straining and putting pressure on the veins in your rectum. This can occur when you push too hard during bowel movements. Lifting heavy objects can also be a cause. Signs that you need to go to the doctor. It is time to see the doctor if the following are the case. You are experiencing any kind of rectal bleeding. 
The hemorrhoids are causing you pain or discomfort. The problems persist despite trying remedies for them. If you are making stools that look maroon or tarry in color. This is a sign of bleeding. How will your doctor diagnose hemorrhoids? Your doctor can tell sometimes if you have external hemorrhoids just by looking. Tests and procedures for internal hemorrhoids can include looking into your anal canal and rectum. Digital examination. In a digital rectal exam, the doctor will feel for growths in the rectum. Visual inspection. Internal hemorrhoids may not be noticed during the exam. So, they may use some type of scope to examine the area. You may need a colonoscopy if there is a suspicion that you have another type of problem. There is a suspicion of cancer. You haven't had a recent colonoscopy. Hemorrhoids treatments. Some of these treatments can relieve the problem quickly and some take some time. Many times, only home treatments are needed. Consume high fiber foods, you should eat more fruits and vegetables and whole grains. If you do this, then it will soften your stool and increase its bulk. This will prevent the straining that causes and makes hemorrhoids worse. You should slowly add the fiber to your diet to avoid problems with gas. Topical treatments, there are creams and suppositories that contain hydrocortisone. There are also pads that contain witch hazel. Warm bath, take a warm bath frequently to reduce the swelling in the anal area. Maintain the cleanliness of the area, cleanse the skin around your anus. You should not use wipes with alcohol or perfumes. Don't use dry toilet paper. Apply cold, apply ice or something cold to make the swelling go away. Take pain medication, use over-the-counter products. External hemorrhoid thrombectomy. If you have thrombosis, then your doctor can remove it with an incision and drainage. You need to do this procedure within 72 hours of its formation. Minimally invasive procedures. To quickly get rid of the problem, your doctor may recommend one of these procedures. These treatments can usually be done in the doctor's office without anesthesia. Rubber band ligation. The doctor will place rubber bands around the base of hemorrhoid to cut off its circulation. It will wither and fall off thereafter. Injection. Your doctor injects a chemical solution into the tissue to shrink it. This procedure is sometimes less effective than rubber band ligation. Coagulation. This procedure uses a laser. It causes the hemorrhoids to harden and wither. Surgical procedures. Mayo Clinic says that surgical procedures can be used if other treatments have not been successful. Hemorrhoid removal. In this procedure, the surgeon removes excess tissue that causes bleeding. The surgery will require some anesthesia. This surgery is called hemorrhoidectomy. It is the most effective and complete way to treat a recurring problem. Hemorrhoid stapling. This procedure blocks blood flow to the tissue. It is usually only used for internal hemorrhoids. Stapling typically has less pain than removal. You can return to normal life activity more quickly. However, it is not as effective at removing the problem as removal is. Helpful supplements. Dr. Axe mentions the following helpful supplements for dealing with hemorrhoids. Butcher's broom. Butcher's broom can aid in reducing the swelling and inflammation of hemorrhoids. Research has been conducted that showed that butcher's broom was an effective treatment for people who have chronic venous insufficiency. This is a condition where the flow of blood in the veins is not adequate. Pycnogenol. Research indicates that oral and topical pycnogenol aids in healing acute hemorrhoids. Horse chestnut. Horse chestnut is used as an herbal remedy for poor blood flow and swelling. Research indicates that it can be helpful in getting rid of hemorrhoids. Witch hazel. Witch hazel is a plant that is known for its astringent and antioxidant features. You can soothe your hemorrhoids by applying witch hazel topically. Psyllium husk. Psyllium husk is a natural source of fiber that is available in a powder. 
Research indicates that it can diminish bleeding when making bowel movements. You need to drink a lot of water if you use it. Essential oils. Cypress oil. Cypress essential oil stops excess blood flow and aids in blood clotting. It aids the contraction of blood vessels and tightens tissues. It may also diminish anxiety. Anxiety is linked to constipation in some people. You can use it by adding a few drops to a cotton ball and applying it topically. Helichrysum. Helichrysum essential oil aids in secreting gastric juices that are necessary to prevent digestive issues. It also works as an anti-inflammatory agent when used topically. To use it, rub a few drops into the abdomen or area of inflammation. Other home remedies. Aloe vera gel. Aloe vera is useful in treating the problem. If you have a plant at home, cut open a leaf, and extract the gel. Apply this to your anus twice a day. You should also drink the juice of aloe vera to help heal the hemorrhoids. There are also various commercial products that are available. These include creams, lotions, and gels. Almond oil. Almond oil is great for soothing the pain and itching around the area. To use it, take some of the oil and apply it with a clean finger deep in the anal region. Use this treatment every time that you have a bowel movement. You can also add some geranium oil to this oil in an equal ratio and use it topically. Lemon juice. Each morning before you eat anything, drink a glass of water mixed with a tablespoon of olive oil and 10 drops of lemon juice. Water and oil produce internal shielding and prevent dryness. You can also use lemon juice topically. Coconut oil. Coconut oil is antimicrobial. It is also an anti-inflammatory. Apply some coconut oil to your anus after you have cleaned it. Do this twice daily, particularly after a bowel movement. Rutin. Rutin is a supplement that is derived from plants and used to remedy some medical conditions. Rutin helps hemorrhoids by strengthening blood vessels. You should take 1000 mg of rutin per day. The capsules usually come in doses of 500 mg. So, you can take one in the morning and one in the evening. Epsom salt. To use it, prepare a bath of water with one cup of salt per six inches of bath water. Stay in the bath for at least 20 minutes. Bathe in the salt water three times a day until your symptoms abate. Musk ointment. This ointment comes from China. It contains seven herbs. It functions to remove all of the toxic materials from the anal area and decayed tissue as well. It also stimulates the growth of new tissue. It also eases your pain by lubricating the skin around the anus. This will help with bowel movements. Conclusion The truth is that most of the remedies that are mentioned above will take more than a few days to implement but the question is how long do hemorrhoids last? However, if you aggressively pursue them, then you have a good chance of removing the problem on an ongoing basis. If you have bleeding that comes out in your stool, then it may be time to go and see your doctor. Bleeding in the stool can be a sign of more serious ailments than hemorrhoids. Please keep this in mind. Blood can be a sign of some form of internal bleeding. At the age of 50, you should be screened for colon cancer as well. It is important to note that you need to consult your doctor. Click the link below in the description if you want to know more details and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to share with us your opinion in the comment below about this. Don't forget to visit our website www.debilitatingdiseases.net.